Uh, we're gonna see. I want to see how hard he hits, Mike. I, Mike, I, I really want to see, bro. Let's see all the legends, the myths, because you're Iron Mike Tyson, but I have an iron chin. People know that. Like, I, I take shots, so I think people are underestimating that me being able to deal with his power. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Yes, sir. Get the pet work for this bug. Get, get Al Hammond. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. I don't need Al yeah. Let me call Al Hammond. I'm my Let's own make boss. It happen. I'm my own Come boss. One night. Got your hat. Iron Mike Tyson released some crazy footage of Jake Paul hitting the canvas hard in a sparring session. Stick around because things were about to get wild. Jake Paul, on his podcast, BS with Jake Paul, ran his mouth non-stop. He said, I want to see how hard Mike really hits, and I'm ready to take on the legend himself. That was some confidence right there. Or maybe it was just plain cockiness with a sprinkle of delusion. Jake made all sorts of rude and cocky remarks. Man, I'd love to see how hard Mike really hits, he said, smirking. I mean, come on, he's old now. How much power can he really have left in those fists? It was like he forgot who he was talking about. This was Mike Tyson, one of the most feared boxers in history, but Jake didn't stop there. I bet Tyson's scared. That's why he hasn't stepped up yet. He knows I'm coming for him, and he's probably shaking in his boots. Really, Jake? Mike Tyson? Scared? The man who bit off a piece of Evander Holyfield's ear. The guy who knocked out opponents in the first round more times than we can count. Even Joe Rogan issued stark warnings to Jake Paul about messing with Mike Tyson. That's what I'm going to eat when I fight. I'm going to eat him. Just raw meat, Rogan recounted on his podcast. He's in that god of war mode. If I were Jake Paul right now, I would be shitting my pants. Eat raw meat. He's like, eating raw meat. He goes, you're eating raw meat? He goes, yeah, I'm eating raw meat. He goes, because... That's what I'm going to eat when I fight. I'm going to eat him. It's raw meat. Yeah. See, I was like, Jesus <laughs> Christ. He's in this fucking mode. He's in that God of War mode. And that he's still got that in him. And I'm telling you, if you keep giving that guy hormones and you keep giving that guy supplements and you keep and he's constantly. Rogan was clear about the risks Jake Paul faced, emphasizing that Tyson's advanced age did not diminish his ability to inflict serious damage. It's still a 55 year old, Rogan acknowledged. But at 55, the power is the last thing to go and the speed is still there. He's terrifying. Savage mode right now. <laughs> He's in savage mode. I, if I was Jake Paul right now, I would be shitting my pants. Oh, bro! If I saw, if I'm fighting this guy and he uh, and I see he's eating raw meat, I call the fucking thing off. It's all, it's all the experiences that he has had as a conqueror. You have to take those into consideration. When a man has smashed men before, just smashed men, like when no one can stand in front of him, that is in his mind still. So Mike Tyson decided he'd had just about enough of Jake Paul's antics. Fed up with the disrespect from the YouTuber-turned-boxer, Tyson unleashed a bombshell. Leaked footage of a sparring session where Jake Paul got knocked out cold. It started with a practice match to see what Jake was made of. And let me tell you, it didn't go well for our boy Jake. He ended up getting rocked hard by Tyson, like several concussions hard. It was a total reality check for him. The video, which spread on social media faster than a wildfire in dry grass, showed Tyson delivering a powerful blow that sent Paul crashing to the canvas. The knockout was as clean as a whistle, leaving no doubt about who the true heavyweight was in that ring. We all knew that Tyson had some serious power, right? You watch those short training clips, and it was just Tyson throwing these intense combos, 30 to 45 seconds of pure raw strength. And thinking about it, just one of those punches could totally knock out Jake Paul, or at least make him throw in the towel. Sure, Jake might try to hold his own at the start, but once Tyson landed a hit, it was game over. The man who claimed 44 of his 50 career wins via knockout had fans just about all saying the same thing about Paul who had a nine one record since moving into the ring if you thought things couldn't get any crazier think again because Floyd Mayweather had a lot to say about this in an interview Floyd didn't mince his words Jake Paul is washed up he said he talks a big game but he's not good at boxing getting knocked out by a senior citizen come on man that's embarrassing Floyd continued Mike Tyson is a legend no doubt but he's 55 years old if Jake can't handle a senior citizen what does that say about him I could knock out five Jake Pauls at the same time in the ring. Mayweather didn't stop there. He went on to challenge Jake Paul to find an opponent closer to his age. Jake, stop picking fights with guys who could be your dad, Floyd said. Find someone your own age and let's see what you're really made of. Mike is old enough to be your father, man. Show some respect. Floyd's words were brutal, but they resonated with a lot of boxing fans. Jake Paul had built his career on trash talk and bravado, but now he was facing the harsh reality of the sport. Getting knocked out by a legend like Mike Tyson was a wake-up call, but Floyd made 
made sure to rub salt in the wound. Let's be real here, Floyd continued. Jake's been cherry-picking his opponents. He goes after older guys or people who aren't even boxers. When are we going to see him face someone who's in their prime? Someone who's a real challenge? Fans were divided. Some agreed with Floyd, saying Jake needed to prove himself against legitimate fighters. Others felt Floyd was being too harsh and that Jake deserved credit for stepping into the ring at all. Floyd also threw down a gauntlet. Jake, if you really think you're tough, step into the ring with me, he challenged. I'll show you what real boxing looks like. I'll knock you out, and I won't need to be 55 to do it. Did Floyd go too far with his comments, or was he right on the money? Should Jake Paul take on Floyd's challenge or find someone his own age to fight? But Jake, being Jake, didn't take Floyd's comments lightly. In his latest podcast episode, Jake fired back. Look, I know I got knocked out by Mike Tyson, but that's just one sparring and it was meant to be a training session. I'm still learning, still growing, and after I settle things with Tyson in November, I'm coming for Floyd. I'll knock him out too. You think you can take five of me at once? Bring it on, Floyd. Jake Paul recently took to his podcast, BS, with Jake Paul to address Floyd Mayweather's comments. Floyd Mayweather, Jake started shaking his head with a smirk. The guy who's been running his mouth about me being washed up. Let me tell you something, Floyd. You're the one who's washed up. You're 50. Zero. Yeah, we all know that. But how many of those fights were against real competition? You've been cherry-picking your opponents your whole career, fighting guys past their prime or moving up in weight to face you, Jake continued. You called me washed up. But let's talk about you. You're broke, Floyd. You've been flaunting your money for years, but we all know you've got financial problems. You were in jail in Dubai a few months ago. Jake wasn't done yet. He had more to say about Floyd's fighting style and legacy. You talk about my lack of skill, but let's be honest. Your style is boring. You dance around the ring, dodging punches, playing it safe. That's not what fans want to see. They want action. They want knockouts. And that's what I bring. You're past your prime, Floyd. That's some bold talk from Jake, and it has everyone buzzing. The fight between Tyson and Jake is set for November, and now there's potential for an even bigger showdown afterward. Imagine the spectacle. Jake Paul versus Floyd Mayweather. The internet would go wild. But before we get too carried away, let's talk about their fighting styles and how they match up against each other. Floyd's style is the polar opposite of Tyson's. He's known for his incredible defensive skills, lightning-fast reflexes, and unparalleled ring IQ. Floyd's ability to evade punches and counter with precision is legendary. He's a master of the hit-and-not-get-hit philosophy, making him one of the greatest defensive boxers of all time. Jake Paul's style is more aggressive, looking for knockouts with his powerful punches. He's got a good right hand and decent footwork, but his defense isn't nearly as refined as Floyd's. Going up against Mayweather, Jake would need to find a way to break through Floyd's defense and land significant shots. That's easier said than done, considering Floyd's track record of making his opponents miss and pay. Jake Paul is still relatively new to boxing. He's shown some skills and has a decent record, but he lacks the experience and finesse of seasoned professionals. Jake relies on his youth, athleticism, and powerful right hand. He's been working on his technique, but facing a legend like Tyson and Floyd is a whole different ball game. Tyson's experience and raw power are major challenges for Jake to overcome. If the fight between Jake Paul and Floyd Mayweather happens after the Tyson bout in November, it could be one of the biggest events in boxing. And now, in a surprising turn of events, Floyd Mayweather has agreed to fight Jake Paul in the future. In a recent interview, Floyd confirmed his willingness to step into the ring with Jake Paul. Jake's been running his mouth, and I'm tired of it, Floyd said. He wants a fight. He's going to get one. After he faces Tyson, I'll be ready for him. Let's see if he can back up all that talk. From a financial perspective, this fight is a gold mine. Both fighters have massive followings, and the storyline of a YouTuber turned boxer taking on an undefeated champion is compelling. The pay per view numbers are expected to be astronomical, and the fight could generate millions in revenue. But we have seen this before. In the highly publicized fight between Logan Paul and Floyd Mayweather, size and youth played significant roles. Floyd, despite landing clean shots, couldn't knock Logan out. Logan's ability to tie Floyd up at will highlighted the physical disparity between the two. Floyd, at 46, simply didn't have the strength to overpower a much younger and bigger opponent. This fight served as a reality check for many who believed in Floyd's invincibility, showing that size and age do matter. Floyd's recent performance against Aaron Chalmers also raised eyebrows. He couldn't stop Chalmers, a less experienced boxer, which further emphasizes that Floyd's days of being a dominant force in the ring might be behind him. These factors are crucial when considering a potential fight with Jake Paul. Floyd Mayweather has had an illustrious career, and his name is synonymous with boxing greatness. We enjoyed many of his fights, and even supported his carnival showdown with Conor McGregor six years ago. However, it's clear that his
his prime days are over. Floyd's name continues to be brought up in discussions about current boxing, but it might be time to stop comparing him to today's active fighters, especially those in their physical prime. Floyd's last significant bout was years ago, and since then, his performances have shown a decline. The idea of him taking on younger, larger opponents seems more like a spectacle than a legitimate sporting event. It raises the question, should we still be considering Floyd as a top contender in today's boxing scene? Jake is known for his brash confidence and willingness to take on all comers, but does beating a 47-year-old Floyd really prove anything? Jake Paul is significantly younger and larger than Floyd. The size and weight advantage is substantial. While Floyd is a master technician, he's not in his prime anymore, and this physical mismatch is a critical factor. Beating Floyd now doesn't carry the same weight as it would have a decade ago. Floyd's legacy is secure, but his current capabilities are not what they once were. A win for Jake would be seen more as a victory over an aging legend rather than a triumph over a still-dominant fighter. If Jake were to knock out or even outpoint Floyd, it would likely be seen as him exploiting the age and size difference rather than a true testament to his boxing skill. Anderson Silva, despite being of similar age, was a former 205-pound competitor, which made Jake's win over him more credible. Floyd, at 46 and significantly lighter, doesn't present the same challenge. His opponent's record is quite revealing, with a combined tally of 24 wins and a staggering 176 losses. This kind of record raises serious questions about the quality of competition Jake is facing. It's one thing to build a career, but padding it with fighters who have more losses than wins doesn't do much to prove one's skill. Jake Paul has made a name for himself by taking on a variety of opponents, but none of them have been top-tier boxers. The criticism that he wouldn't know what to do against a real boxer, let alone one of the all-time greats, is becoming increasingly valid. In Logan Paul vs Floyd Mayweather, despite the size and youth advantage, Logan struggled to land significant blows and couldn't leverage his physicality effectively. Floyd's experience and defensive skills allowed him to avoid serious damage and control the fight, even if he didn't secure a knockout. If Logan, with similar physical advantages, couldn't make a dent against Floyd, what makes Jake think he can do better? The reality is that Floyd's technical mastery and fight IQ are leagues above what Jake has faced so far. Recent rumors suggest that discussions for a rematch between Logan Paul and Floyd Mayweather are also underway. This time around, there's talk of modifying the rules to allow for a definitive outcome. Fans are divided on whether another bout between these two would be justified or if it's simply a cash-grabbing spectacle. For Logan Paul, a rematch with Mayweather represents another opportunity to test himself against a boxing legend and potentially secure a decisive victory. On the other hand, critics argue that Floyd, even in his advanced age, remains too skilled and experienced for Logan to handle convincingly. Meanwhile, the legendary Mike Tyson has been adding his unique flavor to the conversation. Known for his sharp wit and playful demeanor, Tyson hasn't been shy about poking fun at both Logan Paul and Floyd Mayweather. Mike Tyson, in his characteristic style, has mocked the idea of a Logan Paul versus Floyd Mayweather rematch. He's jokingly questioned why anyone would want to see these two fight again, suggesting it's more about entertainment than genuine competitive boxing. Tyson's comments add a humorous touch to the ongoing speculation surrounding Logan and Floyd. His ability to blend humor with insight into the boxing world makes his perspective both entertaining and thought-provoking. As with many high-profile boxing matchups involving celebrities and legends, the debate between spectacle and sporting integrity continues. While fans are drawn to the drama and spectacle of these events, purists often lament the focus on entertainment over the sport's core values. Logan Paul versus Floyd Mayweather exemplifies this tension. On one hand, it attracts a massive audience and generates significant revenue. On the other hand, it raises questions about the credibility of such matchups in the broader context of professional boxing. As we look ahead, the future of Logan Paul versus Floyd Mayweather remains uncertain. Will they step into the ring again for a rematch? If so, how will the dynamics of the fight change, and will there be a definitive winner this time? Meanwhile, Mike Tyson's light-hearted commentary serves as a reminder that boxing, like any sport, has its moments of levity amidst the intensity of competition. Whether you're a fan of these celebrity matchups or prefer traditional boxing contests, one thing is certain, the conversation around Logan Paul, Floyd Mayweather and Mike Tyson will continue to captivate audiences around the globe. So, what are your thoughts on a potential Logan Paul versus Floyd Mayweather rematch? Do you think it's necessary or should the focus be on more competitive boxing matches? Let me know in the comments below. And to all you boxing fans out there, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Ring the notification bell so you never miss an update on the latest in the world of boxing. Your support means the world to us, and we appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep fighting.